Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome back. In this one, we're going to be discussing the trade that has sent Starling Marte from the Arizona Diamondbacks to the Miami Marlins. Wow, the Miami Marlins are going out and buying and getting a player. Wow. wow. The Marlins are getting Starling Marte. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. We will be talking about the trade that sent uh, Jonathan VR to the Blue Jays coming up right after this. So uh, stick around for that one. Any other trade that comes down within the last hour is currently less than an hour away from the trade deadline, so you won't, won't want to miss it. All right, Starling Marte in 2020. He's hitting 311, two home runs, 14 RBS, five stolen bases, and hitting out at 827 OPS. Career wise, Marte is a 288 hitter, 110 home runs, 244 stolen bases, and hitting at a 794 OPS. Marte, again, was a all star in 2016, gold glove winner in 2015 and 2016. Uh, he's a, he's He hits around 300, uh, a couple, quite a few uh, home runs too. In the last year, he hit 23 home runs, hit 295. So Marte is a solid, solid player, and the uh, Marlins are going out and acquiring Starling Marte. Now, to me, it's a little confusing why they're doing this. Uh, do they need outfield help? Or are they pushing for a playoff spot? Yeah, they are in a, sp in a spot to perhaps succeed. But to me, it doesn't look like they're going to do much. What they're giving up? They're giving up uh, Caleb, Caleb Smith, first off. Caleb Smith is pitching to a 3 ERA this year in 3 innings pitch, 3 strikeouts, 2.333 whip. His, in his career, Caleb Smith in 252 and a thirds innings pitch, 4.64 ERA, 1.276 whip. Last year in 2019, Caleb Smith, in 153 and a third innings pitch, pitched a 4.52 ERA, uh, allowed 33 home runs, walked 60, and struck out 168. Again, this trade was a little. What he's going to do in Arizona, the pitcher uh, in the hitter-friendly Chase Field, but again, he was a solid pitcher, showed promise to the beginning part of the uh, the season last year with Miami. Miami's also getting up uh, Humberto Mejia. Who, uh, this year, Mejia is pitching to a 5.4 ERA in 10 innings, 11 strikers, and a 1.9 whip. So Mejia, he's an, also an interesting piece. The Arizona Diamondbacks clearly want pitching here in this deal, and that's exactly what they're getting. It's just a matter of can these two pitchers uh, work out for them. The Diamondbacks are also acquiring a player to be named later in this trade. We do not know who that is. But overall, clear winners of this trade are the Miami Marlins. You guys are getting Starling Marte. A great hitter for you guys. Again, I don't know if you guys are pushing. I know you guys just traded Jonathan VR, so you guys are buying and selling. I don't know if this trade is to like block a team like the Mets or if you got you guys are gonna flip them with one hour to go. Who knows what's gonna happen with Marte? But let me know what y'all think about this trade. Comment section below. It, it is a little confusing why the Marlins would go out and get him. I think uh, the return for the D backs is a little underwhelming. Caleb Smith still saw. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, more videos about trade deadline coming out soon. I see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.